Nearly a year after five law enforcement officers were indicted for the death and cover-up of Ronald Green, the prosecution against them appears to be on life support. Three had their charges dismissed so far. The investigative unit and Chris Nakamoto spoke to the district attorney who explained why his office made the decision they did. Sylvia Michael, District Attorney John Belton, took a strong stance on this case initially, calling Ronald Green's death a murder. Fast forward four years later, and only two of the five officers who were indicted are still facing charges in the case. It's going on four and a half years since Ronald Green was killed in Union Parish. Let me see your at the hands of Louisiana State Troopers. Put your hands behind your back. I am sorry. Who told extraordinary lies following his death. I'm sick to my stomach just thinking that I'm just still hoping that someone will pay for the murder of my boy. His mother, Mona Hardin, never missing an opportunity to testify at the state capitol. I'm sitting in a room with so many people of power. Or talk about what happened to her beloved son. His death initially had state police telling the family that he died from injuries he sustained in this crash. Instead, following multiple WBRZ investigative unit reports, it was revealed that a cover-up began from the beginning. I, I won't participate in a cover-up, I won't hide evidence, and I won't lie. District Attorney John Belton told us this. He did not have his day in court. He was tried and executed on the street. But fast forward to 2023, and there's been a change of heart. After discussing the matter with the Green family and, uh, again, their attorney, Mr. Ben Crump, uh, they felt like um, the reasoning behind it was a, a very good reason. Belton now telling us his office dismissed the charges against John Clary, the highest-ranking trooper on scene the night Green died, and his body camera video was hidden until it was discovered later. Out of the five law enforcement officers who were indicted for the death and cover-up in the Ronald Green case, charges against two of them are the only charges that are sticking. Earlier this year, charges against Dakota DeMoss and John Peters were dismissed by a judge. And on Halloween Day, charges against John Clary were dismissed by the district attorney. Mr. Clary has and will continue to cooperate with the state and will testify uh, to the truth of the matter uh, in, regarding the Green case. Belton says that cooperation will include Clary testifying in the case. That testimony could involve him having to tell jurors what he witnessed the night Green died. I can't go into detail with respect to our strategy or um, to talk about the details of the case because ethically I cannot. And so uh, I can't talk about what he's going to say uh, versus what he's not going to say or when, when he's going to say it, etc. But again, let me stress this. Uh, he has cooperated with the state. He will continue to cooperate with the state and he will testify uh, to the truth of the matter in this case. Although the family was notified this was going to happen, Mona Hardin has said in the past the lack of anything happening has been concerning. What happened to Ronnie was murder. What should have happened has been not a damn thing. Attempts to reach the Green family today for a comment were not successful. Charges remain against Corey York and Deputy Chris Harpin. Michael.